Now, since the shutdowns, my uh, economic consumption has actually changed a good bit, a good bit for the better. I've always been a minimalist, but now I'm doing something, I, I don't know, I think it's for the best. Let me explain why. Now, here's the deal, okay? I said before, if uh, in a video a couple months ago, if the shutdown has effect, if the shutdown has destroyed your life, if you feel like you can't do anything, you can't go anywhere, you can't have any fun, that's probably a sign that you're living in a place or, and you're living with a lifestyle that is unsustainable and too reliant on the system, right? If you need, if you got to wear a mask everywhere now, or you can't go places, or you can't like leave your house without being accosted by authorities or something like that, uh, you're probably living in a place you don't need to be living. Um, whereas out here, when the shutdown happened, it was great. It was like everyone had a vacation. We're all hanging out. We're all having dinner parties all the time. It was actually very nice shutdown. I, I wish, I wish there was another shutdown. That was a lot of fun. And hey, and thanks for the free Trump bucks. But either way. Um, I have changed my behavior in one significant way since the shutdown. I've learned, my problem is, I find this is a recurring problem in my life. I never go far enough with stuff. I'm a little soy boy about some things. You know, I, I'm, I'm too moderate. I need to be a little more extreme. And the thing is, um, I have started, based on my experience, buying local products, okay? Because I was actually pretty blue-pilled on this before, um, you know, before, like, uh, the shutdown, okay? Like, if I was going to get groceries which is basically all the consumption I do, like getting groceries. Uh, but, you know, if I were doing that, I would probably go to some big box store like Walmart, okay? Or, I don't know, uh, Publix or something like this, these stores that exist. And I don't know what they are in other countries, but, you, you know, Walmart, the Walmart archetype. Um, and the reason is, oh, well, you know, oh, these places, they're just a little cheaper. I mean, yeah, they ship stuff from all over the place. And uh, I, I don't know, I'm just going to use them. That, that was my rationalization. They're a little cheaper. But one thing that I realized, I realized with the shutdown, that really showed how, how preferable it is to vote, uh, to, uh, I, yeah, I guess vote with your dollar and buy, a, buy from a local chain or not even a chain, a local store. Because the first thing that happened during the shutdown is, you know, Walmart and all these corporations, first off, they have silly rules. You got to wear masks. You got to wait in line. You got to look like a doofus. You got to, you can only go one direction through the lanes and stuff like this humiliating stuff um, that out here, it doesn't even make sense. Like, the, like who am I going to get coronavirus from? Anyway, um, but um, so the, they had all these silly rules, but then you look at their prices. The supply chain of Walmart is reliant on all of this stuff all over the world, right? They're shipping in stuff from China. They're shipping in stuff like they don't get dairy from the local place down the road. They get dairy maybe a couple states away. Maybe they have a couple local jugs of milk, but in general, they're they're always looking, okay, where can we get stuff cheapest, okay? Whereas, so Walmart's prices went all over the place. Like all these other stores, they went all over the place. But then I started going to my local grocer after this, the shutdown, which of course didn't care at all about masks or anything in the first place, but... Um, their prices were pretty much the same thing they'd always been. Like, eggs went up for some reason. I think there was a shortage of eggs. Uh, but aside from that, everything was basically, like, prices were pretty stagnant. Like, they're, oh, okay, I will say there was one week where meat went up, but then it was like, you know, a quarter of what it was out of nowhere. Um, and the reason that is, is if you buy from a local store, obviously, that has a local supply chain, that's ultimately something more robust. Like, when something like a shutdown happens, this kind of economic shutdown, it's going to affect them less. In fact, it might be good. I know that me and a couple other people started buying the like local stuff just because, you know, I, I don't know, it's more convenient now and their prices are better anyway. Okay. So now I think my mindset is even if Walmart finally gets that, uh, you know, even if they go back to having cheaper prices or something like that, I'm still going to be buying local because now the way I look at it is, you know, I'm investing in something that is, I guess more more sustainable. It sounds stupid to even use those words. They're cringe words that libtards use. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with buying like a, in fact, there's everything good with buying a sustainable and locally produced uh, uh, stuff from around you. Okay, that, that's sort of the point because whenever something like, it's less reliant on the system. These terrible corporations that, I mean, you know what they're spending their money on. Like ima imagine being in a city and then like going at what you know putting on a little mask and waiting through one of those aisles at a big box store and then they like spend a million dollars on like these people who are like burning down your neighborhood like how absolutely cucked is that i'm sorry you got to move to the country dude it's so much better um but so th that's my mindset and I'll, I'll say this this is not just true of groceries like it, it's even true it was even true of gas here like you wouldn't even think that because gas i mean it's not like people are getting locally produced gas but for whatever reason, like it was the Walmart gas station, which is usually the cheapest, their prices just went all over the place. They were like super high. 
Um, and then the locally ju the local junker junkie uh, gas station that was like mega cheap. I, I don't even know why. I don't even know the economics behind it, but um, all of the local places seem to have have the best prices. And I think um, you know I I think I'm gonna keep supporting them. I'm gonna keep spending money on them instead. Uh, I I've sort of sworn off. Uh, buying stuff from, from Walmart or anything else. And I think at this point, I basically, there are really no major corporations I buy from. I, I definitely don't need at chain restaurants. That's another cringe thing. Don't do that. But I stopped that a while ago. Um, so anyway, that, that's about it, I guess. So definitely encourage you, move out into the country, of course. But even if you're living in a city, you, use that local butcher, use that local grocer, use, you know, even if it's like, some grocery store run by Indians or something, it's way better than using one of these mega corporations. Uh, and it's gonna be like more sustainable, pr probably. But yeah, move into the country. That's priority number one, guys. See you guys next time.